Hey, I'm Shay and welcome back to Books with Shay. So today we're going to do something a little bit different that I haven't done on my channel before, but as you guys know if you've watched my booktube newbie tag or a lot of other videos on my channel, I really like to do videos or content that isn't just specifically talking about like books and book reviews, but more how books influence my everyday life and a big way that books influence my everyday life is in cooking. I really love to cook things that are inspired by the books that I read. I feel like the more of your senses that you can involve in your bookish experience, the more immersive that it becomes. And I'm all about an atmospheric, immersive, bookish experience. So I'm going to try not to talk very much at the beginning or end of this. I want it to mostly be the relaxing cooking footage to some soft classical music that you can kind of play in the background or that can be kind of anxiety reducing. I feel like watching someone make something can often be really relaxing and I don't want to take away from that but I do want to talk a little bit about the book that inspired today's recipe. So today's recipe was inspired by A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kamemer. -er? Kamemer? <laughs> As you can see it is kind of a dark gloomy day outside and this is the perfect recipe for a cool, dark, gloomy day. If you don't know, A Curse of Dark and Lonely is kind of a dark, lush, atmospheric Beauty and the Beast retelling. Uh, the premise is our main character named Harper is living in our modern world in Washington DC and she basically witnesses a girl getting kidnapped, so she thinks, and so she goes to kind of intervene and ends up getting sucked into a portal to an alternate universe and this is the universe in which the retelling takes place and the kind of twist on the retelling is it is a guy that has to relive this season over and over and over again until he can break this curse and he breaks it by falling in love so it's you know Beauty and the Beast. I rated this a four out of five stars. I thought it was a wonderful book. There are a bunch of reviews of it on YouTube so if you want an actual in-depth kind of review that talks more about the plot and the storyline and things like that then I will actually I think Olivia has done one and you guys know Olivia is my favorite. We stand Olivia in this house so I'll link Olivia's review down below if you want something more in-depth but for this it's more gonna be about the meal. There is a portion of this book where where an inn is involved and the main characters kind of go to this inn. Owners of the inn are very hospitable and they cook for them and everything is very warm. There's a fire going, there's just these comfy squashy chairs and this kind of old warm inn and one of the meals that they serve them is this brown kind of stew and I wanted to recreate a recipe that kind of reminded me of that stew that gave me those warm warm fall vibes and so I will link a recipe down below for something similar. I don't super follow recipes when I cook and so a lot of this is me kind of making it up as I go along and there aren't a lot of exact measurements and so I'll link something really similar down below and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know if you like content like this because it's different from anything I've done. You definitely do not have to be somebody who cooks in order to watch this. It is more meant for the kind of relaxing inspiration that happens from a book and less so to be exactly copied or done over or anything. But if you are someone who cooks and you do happen to make this recipe or one like it, I would love it if you would link me to your video or your Instagram or Twitter or wherever you post it in the comments down below and I'll leave my handles and everything down below so you can find me there. Uh, so yeah, let's slide right on into this recipe and I'll see you guys after.
I hope you guys enjoyed that warm kind of fall beef stew recipe. Again, if you guys make it, totally tag me. I would love to see it. Let me know what you think of this kind of content on this channel. I hope you guys are having a great day or night wherever you are. Apparently I'm Books with Chloe or Olivia right now <laughs> with that outro, but yeah. So I will talk to you guys soon and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Da -da -da.